Hello friends, welcome back to my 3D modeling tutorials on interior furnitures using AutoCAD. In my last tutorial, I have explained the procedure to create sofas. Next, we have to create different types of TPO to complete the sofa set. If you haven't completed uh, the 3D modeling part of the sofas, you can just click on the link provided to complete the tutorial. Then you can come back to this tutorial. In fact, we have to create two different types of TPO. We have a TPO with an elliptical top. Then we also have a TPO with a square top. In this exercise, I'll explain the procedure to create uh, this TPO with a square top in less than three minutes. So let's get started. Before you start off, you should make sure that the 3D modeling workspace is active. I have already created two layers. One is called TPO wood, another one is called TPO glass. I'll activate the TPO glass as the current layer, then I'll create the TPO top using a rectangle. So I'll start with a rectangle and I'll click to define the first corner. I'll go to dimension option, then I'll give the length as a 45, then I'll give the width as 45. Then I'll just click to define the opposite corner point. Then I'll go to a southwest isometric by clicking at this hotspot of the view cube. Then I'll extrude this particular profile. I'll just select extrude. Then I'll give a height of extrusion of 2.5 centimeters or one inch. Okay, so the TPO top is created. Next, I'll activate the TPO wood as a current layer. Then I'll create the legs of the TPO. Again, I'll use a rectangle command and I'll click to define the first corner here. I'll go to dimension option. Then I'll give the length as 30 centimeter or one feet. Then I'll give the width as 2.5 centimeter or one inch. Then I'll click to define the opposite corner point. Then I'll extrude this particular rectangle through a distance of 45 centimeter or one and a half feet. And then I'll go to copy command and I'll select this object as the object to be copied. Then I'll right click to give an enter. When I'm asked to select the base point, I'll just pick this point as a base point. When I'm asked to give the second point, I'll pick the same point. And I'll just give an enter to go out of the copy command. Now I have got a coincident copy of this object over itself. Next, I'll go for a rotate command. Click on rotate. When you're asked to select the objects to be rotated, type the letter L. You know that when you give L at the select object prompt, you refer the most recently created object. So that particular object got selected. Then just give one more enter for confirmation. When you're asked to select the base point of rotation, just activate the 3D O snap. If it is not active, you should go to customize button in the status bar then you should activate 3D object snap button. Okay, now presently it is in blue color, which is an indication that it is active. Disable the 2D O snap. Okay, now I'll take the cursor onto the stop face till the cursor identifies the center of this face. When you get the center, just make a click there. So that is your base point. When you're asked to give the rotation angle, you can give 90 degrees. Now it got rotated. Next, you can union these two objects and I'll select these two objects to convert this as a single object. Next, I have to place this T-point glass top on the top of this t point leg. For that, you can make use of move command. And the base point and the second point, I'm going to define using point filters. If you need any clarifications on point filters, you can click on the link provided. Now I'll click on move and I'll select the object to be moved. When I'm asked to select the base point, I'll hold on the shift key or the keyboard and right click the mouse and I'll click on point filters and select dot X off, this mid off, then shift right click again and I'll go to dot Y Z off, this mid off. That means I have selected the geometrical center of the bottom face of this rectangular box as the base point. When I'm asked to select the second point, I can again go to point filters by shift right clicking. Now dot X off, mid off this particular edge as the base point, mid off that particular edge is selected to extract X coordinate from there. And I'll shift right click again, point filters, dot Y Z and I'll select this point and I'll extract Y and Z coordinate from that point. Now it is placed exactly on the top. Point filter is a very powerful technique in AutoCAD to precisely locate points. But if you have any difficulty to understand this concept, I have another procedure for you. So I'll undo the move command, which I have done most recently. 
then I'll draw two reference circles. I'll deactivate the 3DO snap and activate the 2DO snap and I'll choose this mid as the first point of the circle and this is the second point on the circle and, and this is the third point. Now I have constructed a circle. Next I'll construct one more reference circle using the same three point method. So I'll click on uh, three point again and I'll choose this mid as the first point and this is the second point and this as a third point. Next I'll execute the move command. I'll give move and I'll select the T point top along with the reference circle and this is the base point and this center point of the circle is a second point. Now we have executed the move command with the same level of precision. And now I'll erase this uh, reference circle which I have drawn. Next I'll assign a glass finish to the T point top. For that I'll go to the visualize tab and I'll select the material browser. So material browser will give you a list of materials in AutoCAD. In the Autodesk library, you have a number of materials which are meant for various applications. I'll click on the glass and I'll choose the blue reflective for example. So before you assign it, you have to select the object onto which you want to assign it. So I've selected it, then I'll click on uh, the blue reflective glass, right click and assign to selection. Only when you change the visual style, you will see the presence of that material. So I'll click on realistic or you can click on shaded with edges. Now you have assigned a transparent material for the teapot top. This is how you create a simple teapot with a, a square glass top using three rectangles extruded. So please go through this tutorial. If you need any clarifications on that, keep in touch with me. Thanks for your time.